Senator, and we have been exceedingly clear uh, with the governments of Saudi Arabia as well as the Emirates. Will the administration provide military support to the coalition if it starts operations to seize the port? We have made clear that the port is to be left fully operational. Uh, other than the rhetorical support for a negotiated settlement, what's the administration specifically doing to facilitate a negotiated settlement? Senator, over the course of the past year, but particularly since October of last year, we have worked extensively with the United Nations, with the Saudis, with the Emiratis, as well as with all Yemeni parties to try to establish the basis for a resumption of talks, the talks that collapsed in 2016. The political picture on the ground in Yemen has changed radically with the death, the killing of uh, Ali Abdullah Saleh, uh, with the fragmentation of the General People's Congress. All of that, while tragic in many of its dimensions, has provided a certain reshuffling of the deck that may, we hope, allow the United Nations to be more effective in its efforts. But throughout this, we have underscored to all the parties, the Saudis and the Emiratis in particular, the UN must have the ability to conduct negotiations as it chooses, with those whom it chooses and where it chooses, to try to advance a political settlement, and we will provide all possible support for that. So we're depending upon the UN to be the solution to this process. The international community has placed its support in the United Nations as the best party positioned and the to try to broker a resolution. And the administration endorses that UN process. We do indeed, Senator. Okay, it's a new, new day for the UN.